Hello Capricorn. This is Asnoitje here. Welcome to the channel. For those of you returning, thank you for your love and support. All of the likes, the shares, and subscribing to the channel. Um, for those of you who are new, welcome. It is a wonderful journey and you guys make me feel special. Okay, so Capricorn, this is your reading from the middle of July 2020 to the end of July 2020. So this is a love reading and I will be using the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person you're uh, connecting with on a romantic level or the person you want to be connecting with on a romantic level. Do understand that this might not resonate for everybody and let's take it from there. Let's see what's in store for you guys. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick prayer first. Okay. Oh boy, Capricorn. Challenge is your first card here. Oh my. Not getting any better. Victim. Sorry, I'm just going to adjust my sitting arrangement here. Okay. And then change. Oh my. Whoa, guys. Then you have illusion and then you have love. Oh. And of course, love is overwhelming, isn't it? Oh, and yes, we are afraid of love. Sorry, there's a crisis card and then there's a fear. It's just, I see this combination so many times. It's just, come on, guys. <laughs> I know love is overwhelming. I know. Sometimes it's just too much. And just the feeling, just the thought. Wisdom. Somebody's grown wiser. Okie dokie. Let's do this one. Oops, no. Hang on. All right. Under the bottom of the deck, if I can put this here straight, there you go, stay. Um, under the bottom of the deck is inspiration. So you have here challenge, victim, change, illusion, love, crisis, fear, wisdom, and inspiration. Okay, Capricorn, so I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you. Dear Capricorn, the situation that both of us are in at this very moment is extremely challenging for me. I'm not able to budge. I am frozen in time and space. I feel as if I have become the victim. I feel as if I was victimized. And it's also challenging for me because what both of us went through and what both of us are going through, I feel that I had taken advantage of you as well. And I made you feel like the victim. Whatever has happened between the both of us though, I truly want a change in this relationship. I see things can't be the same anymore. We can't keep doing the same things. And although I hide my feelings, I am hiding behind a mask. I am not exposing and showing what I really feel. No, I'm too afraid to do that. You might know too much about me if I do. What am I hiding from you? The fact that I love you? 
I hurt you, but I love you. And this love now is starting to become so overwhelming for me, I can't think straight anymore. There's a lot of mental anguish, a lot of anxiety. And I am so afraid of this feeling. It's so overwhelming in my mind. I panic. I feel fear. I'm afraid. I even get nervous when I'm around you or when I think of you even. What has happened between us though has now made me a bit more wiser. I'm able to see things the way I couldn't see them before and now I do and that's because of you. I've realized that you are my inspiration. Everything in the world sounds better, looks better, smells better, feels better. Everything is so alive when I think of you and when you are that person in my life. You are my inspiration. But there is so much going on right now and I am not wanting to reveal anything. I just can't. It's a challenge and I'm frozen in fear. But I do love you. Wow, guys. That was very different. I can't even imagine what you people are going through here. These are such terrible cards, guys. Like, like there's so many cards here. These guys, even this guy over here, these are very negative. And at least there's a, you know, a couple good ones here, but wow, Capricorn, what are you guys going through? It's very challenging. This person's going through, this person genuinely, okay, is going through a lot, genuinely. There's a lot going on in their mind. The good thing is this, they do want to change. However, they themselves are not so confident. They're kind of afraid. Wow. Oh my. Okay. Let's have a look at what their actions in the near future are going to be. Do keep in mind time is fluid. Yes, this can happen now. It might have already happened. It could possibly happen in the future. Seven of Swords. Oh, oh my gosh. The Ten of Cups. So keep in mind, guys, this could be the intentions. It could be the intention of the person. Um, it could also be the action that they're going to take. But of course, there has to be an intention first. Oh my God, Capricorn. This is insane. Holy Hannah. Look at these cards. Seven of Swords. Ten of Cups. Six of Cups. Six of Wands. The Sun. Oh, if you guys are wondering why I'm so, I don't know, I've had a lot of coffee. <laughs> All right, maybe that's why I'm just kind of like hyped up. Capricorn, this person might have gotten you into a situation that was a little sneaky. I'm not saying that this is a third party, but it's something that was kind of behind the scenes. There's certain parts of the relationship that either one of you just didn't really want to come to light. And that's similar to what's happening here. This person is going to try to, by hook or by crook, come back into your life. But it's very genuine. The reason why they want to come back into your life, even if it causes them trouble, is because you are their Ten of Cups. My goodness. They want to have a home with you. They want to have a family. They want to be married. 
And for those of you who are not into that kind of stuff, it does not matter. This person wants the next level up. Higher commitment, baby. Yes, they are super happy. They know that you are that one true person that can make them, my God, so happy. There's This is the big best card that you could possibly have. And why are they feeling like this? Because, oh my goodness, they miss you like crazy. Six of Cups, they feel that there's some type of a soul tie connection with you. They do feel that they've had and shared such beautiful, sweet, innocent memories with you. When it started off, it was innocent. However, they remember these things and it's in their mind and it does not go away. It's so powerful that it has completely changed their way of thinking and they want to be with you. The person that we're dealing with here, Capricorn, if this person had ghosted you or if they had some distance and then you just haven't seen them or heard from them, the Six of Wands here does indicate somebody who has been far away for a while and they will eventually come back into your life and they are going to provide you with some type of a passionate offer. Under the bottom of the deck, you have the Sun card. Now, the Sun card does indicate that you make this person very happy. There's happiness, joy, prosperity. They feel really lucky to have you. You are their sunshine. This is how they feel about you. They are definitely going to come back somehow. This person is going to come back and you better be ready. I bought a deck. This is not as applicable to this reading Capricorn, but I'm going to at least ask for one card. Anything that is of a negative aspect in this relationship. I just finished um, one of the other signs and I had to use more cards because I wanted to know what was the issue because it wasn't as nice as your reading actually. So I wanted to figure out what's the negative aspects. Now for Capricorn, let's just see what is anything. <laughs> Temptation. All right, let's have a look here. What is the negative aspect of this card? Under the bottom of the deck is 10 of staffs. So this is the lover's path tarot. Um, I will be reading from the book because some of the meanings are slightly different um, than what I am commonly used to. So, okay, temptation. Yes, inner turmoil and obsession. Keep in mind, guys, this is the negative aspect of this relationship, okay? So this is something that is either bothering you or them or even both of you. And something that might be um, informative so that you can conquer this and... You know, so that those mistakes are not repeated, or if it's a lesson that needs to be learned, you'll know. For future reference, you'll know that, okay, when this happens, I have to do it this way. All right? That's why I'm actually, that's why I purchased this deck, because a lot of my clients, they just wanted to know why. So I figured it out, and for me, I found that this deck really suits me. So let's have a look here. Temptation. <laughs> Tempted by forces one cannot control. Obsession in the form of envy. Sensual desires. This person wants freedom from temptation, okay? They want to transform a weakness into a strength. So, you remember that Seven of Swords card we just had? Where somebody's sneaky? So, this person finds you, Capricorn, um, absolutely irresistible you are they might be even obsessed with you but it's a good healthy obsession because eventually their heart is really in it so i mean i don't even know what type of a set obsession would be healthy i mean that's a really weird statement i just made but the, the point is is that the result is good guys i mean it seems pretty good this person's very much tempted by you they are so attracted to you and it's not just physical, it's their heart. Their heart is attracted to you. Now you have here the Ten of Staves. Let's have a look here. Ten of Staves. Okay. Ten of Staves. Now, aha. 
overwhelmed, burdened by responsibilities. So Capricorn, this is either you or them or both of you. There is a sense of being overwhelmed at this very moment in time and burdened by responsibilities. These responsibilities could be family. It could be, honestly, another spouse for some of you if it applies. Um, but there's a lot of burdens and a lot of responsibilities. So this person might, you know, they might literally just be busy um, in addition to other things. But this is one of the main reasons, and this might sometimes cause an issue between the both of you. So just keep that in mind. Now, this is Dorian Virtue's Angel Answers. I'm just going to ask the angels a few questions here. I'm going to be pulling out four cards, guys, because the other one took some time off, and my camera is going to shut down. And I don't want to start... Oh, I'm not much of a technical person. Okay, no. Now, where are you guys? All right. So what does Capricorn need to know in regards to the situation that they are in? <laughs> Everybody's got to look for a sign. <laughs> look for a sign. So these messages are brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Yes is the next card. Peaceful resolution. Lovely. You have two cards here. No. Okay. Helpful people under the bottom of the deck. All right, guys, so I'm going to um, say these so that they kind of make sense more than what they are here on the cards. Um, so the angels are saying, Capricorn, that they want you to look for a sign. You will be receiving messages, signs and synchronicities. This could be numbers. This could be colors. This could be names that will be repetitive. This simply means that the universe is with you and that the angels know that you need their help and they're out there to help you. Yes, if you had a question, the answer to it is yes. If you had a romance-related question, the answer is yes, and you will receive a peaceful resolution. If there has been any issues with this person, there's going to be a peaceful resolution. But you're going to have to wait for this peaceful resolution. You can't rush anything. Try not to contact them. Just focus on yourself for now. Because if you do, then no, it's not going to be a peaceful resolution. Patience is a virtue. Now, helpful people. You can either talk to one or two friends who you really trust, not the type that get jealous behind your back. No, not them. Um, also, YouTube videos or any other type of video, any type of blog that talk about relationships and the situation, Capricorn, that you are in. People who have been there and done that, those are the type of people you need to get more knowledge from so that you can actually take charge and be able to handle this situation. That is what the angels are saying. You have helpful people around you and they do love you and they do care for you. This doesn't have to be friends, this could be family as well. It's important to get something off your chest and talk. Whatever it is, it's, it's, it's very burdensome. You guys have been holding it in for a long time. The angels know this and they want you to let it out. You need to open up a little bit. Let people know what the issue is. And then sometimes you just get that one person that'll give you this idea. And it's like, oh my God, I never thought of that. <laughs> it could be anything. It could be anything. It might literally make your perspective change. Okay, guys. I know I was a little wired up and a little loud today, but you know what? Everybody's been telling me they can't hear me. Oh, I'm still trying to fix my other gadgets that I just got. It's just, I can't. I have to have someone help me with that, so <laughs> it's going to take a while. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much. This is a beautiful community. I have felt so much 
I don't know, abundance and love. And I feel the energy from all of you guys. You guys go through a lot. A lot of people around the world who have heartache and love. I know, I understand. And I do try to reach out to you and communicate as much as I can. So keep the comments coming. Yes, we're here for each other. So guys, I will meet you again next month. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Let me know in the comments below. And um, stay positive and stay safe. All right then. Bye-bye now.